Hi, this is Algologic, and today we're talking about ultra low latency networking with FPGAs, a reference design for trading on the Intel PAC D5005. I'm John Lockwood, PhD and CEO of Algologic Systems Incorporated. Today, there are winners and losers in the market, is that firms that trade with FPGAs are those that tend to win most of the profits. This is because they're trading and checking their orders in logic instead of software, which allows them to instantly react to trading opportunities. Meanwhile, firms that are not yet using FPGA trading systems have been missing out on these opportunities because they're not quite fast enough. They fail to profit, and they eventually drop out of the market. Algologic Systems puts algorithms into logic. So we take and accelerate time-critical applications and work to reduce the latency down to nanoseconds. By putting these applications in logic, we can make them deterministic and avoid the tail latency that happens with software. Our IP cores connect directly to high-speed networks. And so with our multi-gigabit Ethernet cores is that we can interface directly with 10 gig or 25 gig Ethernet. We can implement reliable TCP networking stacks to stream flows of data over the network. And we can respond immediately to events that happen on remote networks. So the logic and the networking together are what we call gateway-defined networking, or GDN. And so these are high-speed networking applications that are implemented entirely in FPGA logic. So Algologic was founded, and it's led by me, a professor from Stanford University. Our company now has 11 years of experience building ultra low latency trading applications in Logic. Our applications have been deployed in global markets and are used by traders every day. Today, we're talking about our newest solution for ultra low latency networking that's based on the Intel PAC D5005. So this is a PCI Express card that includes a Stratix 10 FPGA, it includes the Intel Data Mover, which is a low latency mechanism to move data from user space applications to FPJ logic across the PCI Express bus. Intel also provides a high level synthesis compiler, HLS, that allows writing applications in languages that look like C and C++, but compile and run as logic in the FPGA. So meanwhile, Algologic provides ultra low latency Ethernet Max, our TCP endpoint, and APIs so that this business logic can send packets or traffic flows out to remote machines over the network, or can they can send messages up to the user space applications that run in software. So combined, this solution of the FPGA card, the data mover, the IP cores, and the business logic is an ideal solution for traders that need to do high speed, low latency trading, uh, banks that need to implement and provide pre-trade risk checks so that customers that are sending orders through their uh, banks are checked to be compliant, and also by broker dealers that are providing trading gateways. So this base platform with the Mac, the TCP, the data mover on the Intel PAC D5005 is available today. And so uh, the system we have running is running on Intel Xeon CPU, and it includes the Intel PAC D5005, and it takes data that comes in as serialized data through the high-speed serial interface. We decode packets with our low-latency Mac and present those packets to business logic. Or if those packets are parts of TCP flows, use our TCP endpoint to provide a reliable stream of bytes to business logic by bringing it in across the TCP endpoint. Uh, for those applications that do some processing in software, we use the data mover to push data up to the user space application with this low-latency DMA and programmed I.O. Uh, the user space application then in turn can push data back. That data that is in the FPGA then can be pushed out as packets or as TCP flows using our Mac and our TCP. So let's look at an example of a reference design of an order translation gateway. And so in this case, we start off with a normalized order format, such as the fix format. And so with fix, uh, an order comes in from the client machine as a set of Ethernet packets as a TCP flow, and that fixed format message passes up to, through our order processor, to business logic. Now, if that business logic wants to perform some of that computation in software, it goes across the programmed I.O. up to the user space application. The user space application then does its checks, and it sends a message back down across the PCI Express bus. Uh, we can perform a check as the order goes through the hardware. It goes through the order processor, through the TCP endpoint, out the Mac, and back out to the exchange. 
And so while it's passing through, we can convert the format, say, from a fixed format to a native binary format for a market such as NASDAQ that uses ouch. That can be done either in hardware or in software. So this is an example of a trade that's happening in a mix of both hardware and software, because we're using both logic that's in the FPGA and software that's in user space. We can do better. Is that for applications that need to trade faster, is that we can bring in those orders through the Mac, through the TCP, through the order processor, but then implement all the business logic to process that order in FPGA logic. And so with this, for example, with a pre-trade risk check or an order translation, by putting that logic into the FPGA is that the order never has to go to software and is passed back down through the order processor, through the TCP endpoint, and out the Mac, out to the exchange. Let's look at the latency for this. And so first of all, what happens when we just use, we come in from a remote machine, go through the Mac, the TCP, and perform all the logic and the business logic, go out the TCP endpoint, out the Mac, and back out. So using the AlgoLogic IP cores with our Mac and TCP and HLS interface, we're able to perform all of those operations with a latency that's less than 0.4 microseconds. And so this is a measurement that shows the latency, which is in 0 to 5 microseconds, and the number of packets that had that latency. We tested with 100,000 packets. And we see that with the AlgoLogic Mac, TCP, and HLS solution, is that the entire traffic flow, all of the packets were processed in exactly under 0.4 microseconds, which is why this is a single line that's very tight. Uh, next, we used the data mover and passed traffic from the networking stack up to a user space application and back down and back out. And so for this, that added delay of using the data mover and performing the transfer up to the user space application doing some processing in software and sending the result back down, uh, had a combined latency that was between 1.6 to 1.7 microseconds. Pretty good, is that this is certainly competitive because we can benchmark this to another vendor NIC, another kernel bypass NIC, and running its default firmware, performing effectively the same operation, uh, that NIC bench benchmark with a latency of 3.5 to more than four microseconds. So we see that doing a hybrid hardware software solution uh, comes in with much lower latency and doing a pure hardware solution or a gateway solution where the entire business logic was implemented in the FPGA comes in with an outstanding uh, latency that's unbeatable by anything in software. So in conclusion, FPGA trading systems are fast. We can process orders in nanoseconds. We can respond to the market instantly. And we can do so in a way that's deterministic with no tail latency. Uh, we have a new reference design on the Intel D5005 that includes the base platform with our ultra low latency Mac, the TCP endpoint, and the Intel data mover. This allows you to write user space software with standard socket interfaces to process data and software, or you can use HLS to write applications that will be compiled and run in FPGA logic. So we have reference designs from AlgoLogic that implement commonly used applications such as pre-trade risk checks, that we've deployed for banks, order translation gateways, and our tick-to-trade system reference design that can be used to get the lowest latency for trading. So to learn more about this and other designs, uh, contact us at intelsupport at algo-logic.com or contact us through the other mechanisms listed on this page. Thank you very much.